All right, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're working on 2004 Toyota Sienna. I have been fighting a catalytic converter code for years. It's got four oxygen sensors on it. I think they've all been replaced over the years. Um, this one, P0420, has been haunting me for the past three years or so. Goes away. It'll go away when I change the oil and stuff like that, but it just it comes back at odd times. We're, we're down to the point where it's it's resetting itself quite frequently. It's got to be the catalytic converter. Today we are changing a catalytic converter, bank number one. Um, so bank number one is the one against the firewall. Uh, bank number two would be the front side one. So I bought a new catalytic converter online. It's not OEM. It's just good for the state that I live in, uh, Texas. This one will not be good for California, uh, but uh, for my state, this one's good. And this one, hopefully, fingers crossed, will uh, cure my code P0420. Enjoy. Okay, so we are back underneath the vehicle. We have it up on ramps. I'm going to put some penetrant lubricant. It's a uh, freeze off, or you could use liquid ranch or something to that nature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray this on the bolts uh, for the catalytic converter. All right, so underneath, so it's the number one side that I'm changing and the one on the front side is number two. Go all the way back behind the transmission and there's the number one side. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I can access it as well as I can here. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the uh, penetrant lubricant on the bolts. Uh, there's a couple back here that I'm sure are gonna be a pain in the rear to get to, but we'll see. Do this two-handed, one-handed. So I, I had sprayed the penetrant lubricant where it connects to the exhaust line here. Good. All right, so for these, they're 14 millimeter instead of 15, so don't make the mistake that I made. I tried 15 and I rounded off, so get your impact. So these, I've got one broke free already. Not too bad, but these are the front ones, <laughs> and we're about ready to get to the back ones. So, or these are the bottom ones. We're about ready to get to the top. Get yourself a, a three eighths inch uh, ratchet with a fourteen millimeter deep well socket. Um, just get the longer handle so you can get some good leverage. And then, ah, and break them free. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shield off. It's being held on by two screws, one right here and one back here, um, 10 millimeter socket. The reason I'm taking the shield off is because the top two or the back two bolts are covered by the shield. So there's three, three of these little screws on that heat shield, two on top, one on the bottom. So this last uh, the top left or driver side screw is just a bear to get to on this heat shield. So you can see I've got my arm, left arm wrapped around the transmission. So my right arm can do the ratcheting. Good luck getting your heat shield off, but have patience. It'll come off. Okay, so I have all six of these nuts off of the exhaust manifold portion of it. There was one in the far corner, which I had missed previously. So I treated it with penetrant lubricant, let it sit for a while and I got it off. Now there's uh, an oxygen sensor up here on top. Uh, go ahead and disconnect the connector. Uh, now's a good time to just disconnect the connector for it. And then there's a bracket, which is holding uh, the catalytic converter to the transmission. It takes a 14 millimeter with a 14 millimeter wrench, uh, take that nut off and then uh, it it will be freed up. Okay. 
All right, so we have the catalytic converter oxygen sensor and everything all disconnected, but we just don't have much room to, to, to move it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, joint between the third catalytic converter and the pipe. I'm gonna separate it so that we can pull this down uh, because the flex pipe will give us flexibility uh, to maneuver the catalytic converter out of the space that it's in. So we we prepared it with penetrant lubricant and we're just gonna go ahead and with a 14 millimeter socket, take that off. And now we should have the ability to pull this down. Oh, I hope it fits out of here. Try not to snag the other O2 sensor like I've been doing here in, on film. All right. If you have a lift at home, bravo. If you don't, you're in the same shape I am. <laughs> All right, halfway done, people. Not yet. All right, so for intermission, what everybody's been waiting for, let's listen to a hot rod Sienna. <laughs> so this is what the Sienna sounds like without your cat installed and we've got the exhaust disconnected for the number two side, so let her rip. but who would not want a Sienna that sounded like that? <laughs> well, just driving around town like that for a second, see how many looks we get. <laughs> okay, so with your uh, original cat and device, go ahead and break uh, loose your O2 sensor. And I'm gonna clean it. This is the front one. I'll pull the back one off and clean it too. Um, some mass airflow sensor cleaner. And I'll use that to clean my O2 sensor. I think it's just basically electrical cleaner, electrical contact cleaner. And just let it dry out really good. All right, so the new cat does not come with any uh, brackets to mount the heat shield. So when we put this back on, we won't be putting the heat shield back. All right, so putting a new O2 sensor into the, or excuse me, the original O2 sensor into the new catalytic converter. You can put just a little bit of anti-seize compound on the threads if you want. In fact, I used them, used a crescent wrench to get them off and that, and that works pretty well. Um, and I know I had replaced them in the past and used anti-seize compound on the threads. So if you ever have to change them or for the next guy or gal, helps them out. All right, time to put it in. Gasket, don't forget to remove the gasket that was on the uh, engine block for the exhaust. Uh, remove the old one as the new catalytic converter comes with a new one. And so we'll use the new gasket. It also comes with the bolts and two nuts, three nuts. Okay, three nuts. So one nut would be for the bracket and the two nuts would be for um, this end, uh, this end down here. Did not come with the, the nuts for the uh, exhaust manifold side. So we're gonna reuse the six old nuts from the original cat and we'll reuse those. All right, uh, so the new gasket into place, and now let's go ahead and fish the catalytic converter up in here and start threading the nuts. All right, so the new catalytic converter is in position, 
and I just need to tighten up those nuts and then I will reposition the exhaust pipe and then put the bolts in on this end and then finally I will connect the sensor and this bracket this this bracket right here I'll put the nut on there 